third round Thursday at the Lindner Family Tennis Centre and now the weather has significantly improved, the crowds poured in to see the remaining 16 players in action. Before a ball was even hit, Dominic Team booked his place in the quarter-finals. Opponent Gael Monfils forced to withdraw through injury. Stan Vavrinka would get proceedings underway against Grigor Dimitrov on centre court. With the Bulgarian looking to make his second Masters 1000 quarter-final in a row, he was halfway to achieving that after getting the better of a tight first set. The world number 34 has been approaching something close to his best in recent weeks and midway through the second was closing in on a decisive break. Lob 15. The single break of serve sealed it for Dimitrov for his first Cincinnati quarterfinal appearance. It's back-to-back quarterfinals at a Masters 1000 level for Grigor Dimitrov. Joe Wilfred Songa doubled his all-time Cincinnati win tally in round two, but was quickly on the back foot against Olympic bronze medalist Steve Johnson in round three on grandstand court. Oh, that's so impressive. Johnson knew a win would make him US number one. After capturing the opener, the second set went to a tiebreak, where despite playing his part in one of the rallies of the tournament so far, the American was surrendering control of the set to Songa. But the seventh seed conspired to spurn three set points and Johnson marched on to his first ever Masters 1000 quarter-final. Fantastic efforts for the newly crowned American number one. 2013 champion Rafael Nadal would face a clash of the generations against next-gen star Borna Choric and the Croat, no respecter of reputation, was running away with the opening set. Yeah, that is absolutely brilliant. It seemed not all was well with the third seed as he received medical attention. But Chorich wouldn't be seeing that as a distraction, pouncing on the Nadal serve early in the second set. That is Djokovic-like in its execution. The Spaniard made more of a fist of the second, but still the youngster was holding all the cards and sealed a famous win in style. For the first time in his career, Borna Choric is into the last eight at a Masters 1000. Fifth seed Kei Nishikori would face the big hitting Bernard Tomic for a place in the quarterfinals. With not much to choose between the pair in the opener, it was the Aussie who was getting the better of the tie-break. The first set went to Tomic, but Nishikori was knocking on the door in the second. The world number 21 would have to be at his best to keep the set on serve. Magic! Having saved three set points, Tomic was playing like a man on a mission to get the win, which came after another tie-break. What a fight from Bernie! Top seed Andy Murray would face the man who beat him in last year's US Open, Kevin Anderson. And after the big South African went to break up, the Scot would need to turn it up a gear for two successive breaks and the crucial advantage. Oh, wonderful finish. The momentum was all with the top seed moving into the second set. Anderson had no answer for Murray's tenacity. Knew it was coming, didn't you? And for the loss of just five games, the number one seed stayed standing on a day where many others crumbled around him. Andy Murray notches up a 600th victory. Looking to avoid an upset on grandstand court was fourth seed Milos Raonic. And although the Canadian split the first two sets with Japanese qualifier Yuichi Sugita, his class eventually told to take his place in the last eight. Goran Ivanisevic was on hand to watch his old charge Marin Cilic beat his new one Thomas Burdick. The 12th seed needed three sets to set up an all-Croatian quarter-final clash with Borna Cioric. So the seeds that remain after turbulent Thursday will do battle with the surprise packages of the week for a spot in the semi-finals on day five.